Well, howdy diddly dandy there, Charms to Zai, Captain of the Steves, and today, Charms, for you guys, in the view of us, I'm going to be doing a review of Dev in the Water 2 on the PCs. Let's jump on over into the game. Righto, so this is the main title screen. I'm loving all this. I'm loving the actual music. And when you actually scroll on down in here, I'm using the PlayStation 5 joypad as well. So it's all mapped for PlayStation 5 pad as soon as you plug it in. It's pretty darn freaking awesome. If I hit coming soon, there's going to be pods of dolphins added, hammerheads, and new game modes. Now I hit up one of the actual developers and ask what the game modes will be. He has let me know that one of them might be free roam mode. And these are the people that made the game. Yes, two people. Two people made this wondrous title. It's freaking mind-blowing that they've managed to pull this off. Now, I've got quite far into this game, people. And I've got to the point, though, where the weapons that I've invested in were probably the wrong choices. I think what I need to do is buy all the weapons, try them out, and see which one I like the most before I heavily freaking upgrade it. Because I've run out of gold, and now I'm coming across sharks that I just can't kill. I'm using harpoons and filling them full of arrows for like half an hour, and they just don't die. So yeah, and that's not even a great white, that's a Mako. So anyway, let's jump on in, let's show you some actual game footage. So this all takes place in Blackwater Bay. And there's some mysterious stuff going on in Blackwater Bay. I guess there are. So there is a little bit of a story going on here. There we go. Welcome to the reef. I've only heard good things about you. Time to see just how good you really are. Let's start out by killing ten lionfish. Your predecessor managed to do it in just four minutes thirty. See if you can beat that. Let's go. Keep a look out for anything the ordinary. Okay, so that's a lovely lady who's got quite a lot of good stuff to say about me so far, which is nice. And I've got to kill lionfish, these Volatans lionfish. They're poisonous little critters in real life. Their third dorsal fin has got poison within it. Yeah, you can get them in pet shops though, even here in the UK. You can actually own one as a pet. And there you go, a little bit of side nuggets of information. But look at the graphics, people. That's what I really want you to take note of. It's just how beautiful this looks. Yep, even when you're sticking arrows in faces of fish, it still looks beautiful as you do it. Yes, have that fishy, fishy underwater murder. Yes, lovely jubbly. But look at the sharks. Now, they're procedurally animated to behave like real sharks. That lionfish that I've just shot, because its blood is in the water, look at the sharks and the way that they react to that dead fish in the water. There you go, I'll shoot another one. And that'll draw their attention, look. Look at that. How cool is that? There's another one there. Hello, you gormless little critter. Kaboom, you're dead! <laughs> right, okay. So, I do like the way that the arrows still stay there. And the actual fish themselves, after they're dead, they stay there as well. Okay, uh, and the sharks got in the way of that shot. Uh, luckily, I didn't shoot a shark, because they might get angry with me. But the sharks will predominantly leave you alone. Now, there's there's a creature inside of the actual... Uh, check this out when I go near these corals. Look, you watch the fish. Boom, they all just went and hide. Huh, wasn't that cool? Oh, what? How did you dodge that? Freaking reflexes of a freaking ninja. Ninja fish. Yeah, hurry up and reload. Okay, here we go. How? Now you're dead. How'd you like them apples? Okay, but yeah, the corals look beautiful. The game controls very nicely. But the proceduralness of the way that the sharks move and the AI of the sharks is where it really comes together. Well done. I mean, look at that eel. Very cool. Yes, yeah, so what I was saying is there's a kraken, which is this giant octopus creature that sends out mind control. And when it does that, all the creatures around you get frenzied and come at you and try to kill you. And it's, it's that sort of area that you've got to survive. So each sort of dive that you go on, you've got to find treasure. And then with that treasure, you can buy upgrades. And that's where I went a little bit wrong in what I invested the in. The oxygen gauge is now showing that it is full. It's really quite cool, the voice, isn't it? 
With the strong currents in this region, treasures are often revealed during dives. Our scanners can't pick out the exact location, but I've marked the area on your compass for you to investigate. Go and see if you can find us out there. There it is! Found it, mate! Open sesame wire. So yeah, you find treasure chests like this. That pops. You pick up your treasures. Treasures, treasures everywhere. And then you use that for your upgrades. Sweet. And that's the aim of the game, pretty much. I'll show you some of the upgrade screens in a moment. I'll show you some of the challenges. It seems like you know exactly what you were doing and up to speed. Our comms will be limited in deeper waters, so you won't be hearing much more from me. Remember to keep low and use cover if things get intense. Also, promise me that you will avoid open water. We really don't know what's out there. Will do. Thank you very much for your warnings. Thank you, yes. There we go. I've become 93rd. So I think I've just beat my current bestest time. But yeah, that's not too bad, is it? That's pretty darn freaking cool. I guess it is. All right, cool. And we're going to continue on. But anyway, people, I'll bring to you some of the more exciting. There are three treasure chests near the hull that we need you to find. Oxygen is there if you need it. Okay, people, right. Well, I'll come to back to you with some of the more interesting things with inside of this game and, uh, yeah, tell you what I think of it. Again, okay, well, see you in a bit. Okay, so each time that you complete yourself a level, you get yourself a lovely trophy, gives you a score, tells you how many treasures you found, time taken, etc. But here's the way you're going to upgrade. You can upgrade your main diver and sort of make his suit a little bit thicker, which... I'm going to do anyway, but really I need to save this gold now and just try and save up for some of these mega weapons. That's what I bought before, didn't do me many favours. I think I may need to get a couple of grenades, maybe there's a big kitty. That one's the most expensive at 7,000. 5,000 for that one. I think we should just save up for the 7,000 and we give that a go, but really I would like to test drive each of these to be honest. Okay, so this is the giant kraken that you can see on the screen right now. The giant freaking octopus. Look at him go. And that's the thing that makes everything go gnarly and crazy and start hunting the. He doesn't hang around too much. I guess there's going to be a later boss fight, but I haven't got that far into game. Pretty darn gnarly though, right? Okay, well I've got a choice of weapons. This one is actually an underwater shotgun to take down big threats, which I think I need. This one is actually a sniper rifle to take out small threats at a distance. This one here is a Hellfire rapid fire underwater dart gun, which is pretty darn cool too. So I think I need that one and that one. Ignore that one and that one. And I think I need a grenade. You know what? I can afford this one right now. So we're going to unlock the Kraken. Heck yes we are. I haven't got anything that I can upgrade right now. But we're going to be giving that a whirl, people in the viewerverse. So people in the viewerverse, is Death in the Water 2 worth a buy? Yes, yes it is worth a buy. It's a freaking awesome game and I'm highly addicted to it to be honest. And yes, that new shotgun that I've got does devastating amounts of damage and I've taken out some Mako Sharks with it and all sorts. Definitely the way to go. But I'll just show you my loadout quickly people inside of the viewerverse. But over here I've got myself the little staple gun for taking out snakes, the big gun for taking out the Makos and big sharks and stuff like that and then just the trusted spear gun and I've left all this side pretty much as is. My diver, I've upgraded as much as I can there. I just need to do sprint time and sprint recovery time so I can swim a bit faster. But I'm pretty much well equipped now, people in the viewerverse. So yeah, I would say this is worth every single penny. It's £15 right now. I'm playing on an Alienware M15 gaming laptop anyway, and it's I've already enjoying this game and I highly, highly recommend it. If I was to score this out of 10, I'd give it a 9.2 because the difficulty in the balancing is pretty darn freaking good. As you know, I had to restart because I loaded out incorrectly. But now I know, so there is a learning curve, people. You can see that my FPS has been a stable sort of 30 frames up to 40 
40 frames during actual play. There has been the odd time it dropped, but you know what? It, it's been hardly noticeable, and the game is freaking beautiful. The music's great, and this is only made by two developers. Jump on in, give them some support. This game, it needs more attention. I, I think this game is freaking awesome. And uh, if, if, if this had a decent marketing policy behind it or something, I'm fairly sure it would be selling like hot cakes because it's highly enjoyable and pretty darn addictive. The only drawbacks that I would say with this title is after a while the picking up of the chests and then the combat, it's rinse and repeat every single dive. It'd be nice to see a little bit more mechanics put in there, maybe sort of like a rester sort of mission in between. It'd also be nice, I know you get dropped off by a helicopter, but it'd be nice to have some sort of HQ or something where you can build out, maybe have your own aquarium, that way you can put fish in and stuff like that and see all of the trophies that you've managed to get during game. And I can't wait to see what else they bring to the game. They're already putting in dolphin pods, hammerhead sharks and other game modes. So yeah, I, I think the future's bright for this gaming duo and for Death in the Water 2 people. That's me signing off, that's my review, thank you for watching.